Hi there, this is how you play solo mode in Picnic Party. For solo mode, you can play standard uh, deck or advanced deck, uh, and you start the game just as you would any other game, uh, but you are playing on your own. Now the goal is to get as many points as you can, um, and you only get one shot at an animal. If you uh, are unsuccessful inviting an animal to your table, it runs away. And so you have to designate an area as your runaway pile. So this is gonna be my runaway pile. And uh, there is one final chance you get for runaway cards. Uh, you have to get a rock star roll to be able to uh, get a chance at the top uh, card of the runaway pile. So I'll kind of show you how this works. So I'm gonna go for a hard card, um, like lock lot boot first, just because I'll probably run away. So I got uh, blueberry. Do you believe in me? Oh, no, I did not get him. So Lockleboo would run away. So he would be uh, face up. He is the top of the runaway deck at the moment. Okay, and I continue my turn. Now let's go for Pacho next. I need a water one. I got it. So it was a rock star roll, but I'm just playing on my own. So what do rock star rolls do? They enable you to go for the top card of the runaway pile. So I get this chance to go for lock lap boot again. Uh, that did not go well. So lock lap boot, I did not get him uh, with my rock star roll that I had with Pacho. And so he just remains uh, at the top of the runaway deck and I continue. Now let's go for a Zelda, just to try to get an ability, which would help quite a bit. Not a rock star roll though, but I did get Zelda, so that's good. Okay, now I'll go for a hard one like Capper Jack. Got the got the lemon. Oh, got a cherry. Come on, come on. And then a cherry. Oh, this is the moment. Did not get it. No. Okay. So now Capper Jack would go to the top, covering now Lock Lot Boot. So you really have to rely on getting uh, Rockstar Rolls to be able to uh, get uh, some of your runaways back. And you you see how how many points you can get. So I'll just. See if I can get lucky at the end here. Come on, Isa. Okay, so got a rock star roll. Now I get the top of the runaway deck. Come on, Capper Jack. Let me get you. Now, if I had gotten a rock star roll on Capper Jack there, I would get Capper Jack and I would get to go for a lock lot boot underneath. So you can get lucky sometimes with it. Um, but I do have Zelda's ability, so I might have some help here. If I can get that lemon, okay, I'm gonna use my spin ability, reroll for a lemon. I got it. So now I got that runaway. So uh, really good in solo mode to really carefully collect your abilities. Uh, uh, now just, uh, we can just see the power of some of these abil abilities like stash here if I were to go again. Um, again, I'm not playing with the full deck here, but uh, if I were to use Capper Jack Kate, I'm gonna I'm gonna stash. Oh no, stash won't work <laughs> because I, I really do need a rock star roll to be able to access these runaway cards. So I can't just go for a lock boot here. Anyway, so uh, that is solo mode, and it is a lot of fun. You try to get as many points as you can. Uh, keep trying uh, to get all the points in a deck, it's uh, in a solo mode. It's very hard, but uh, if you plan well and you think about your probabilities and you collect your abilities, uh, many times it can uh, you can get close. So uh, enjoy solo mode.